Alrighty guys, working on new project here. So, you know, I love the tiny trainer, how nimble it is. And it's small, it's easy to repair, but it handles really well. And so I wanna take something that has the features of the tiny trainer, but combines it with say the top end speed of the switchback, you know? And then maybe I could somehow combine these two but I do like occasionally that feel of a top mount battery. You know what I mean? It just, it kind of reduces that pendulum effect as you're going into the turns. And then, you know, sometimes I like to go old school and just go, you know, go racer configuration with bottom mount and a heavier, beefier frame that's, you know, a lot harder to destroy compared to some of the other frames. So. I'm gonna think on it and then uh, see what I come up with. All right, so here's the unveiling of my new quad, combining all the attributes of the 533 line of quads. So I think it's gonna work great. I don't think Evan and Mondo are really on board with this, but I just don't think they see my vision. They keep saying things like, I'm not an engineer and I don't have any common sense but i think this is going to really show that i have something to offer so maiden flight in a few minutes so i'm not really sure how to go about plugging all this in but uh, i guess we'll just start on the bottom that makes the most sense because you know you want the bottom to be plugged in first for a better foundation of electrons so there's that let me just plug in a few more and we'll get Alrighty. going i got them all plugged in here they're all on the trusty handy dandy ghost system so you know, I've got a lot of faith in that system. I'm not sure what it's gonna think when I arm them all, but you know, in the name of science here. So how about we just try the beeper? Oh, that's like music to my ears. That's beautiful. Okay, well, if I got my little buzzer going on all of them, then I know it's gonna fly. So maiden flight in the next video. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I'm just gonna armor here and see what happens. I, I think everything, you know, the math, I think the math works out. So when I arm this, it should just take off, hover. Should be just steady as can be. So let's give her an arm here. Oh, look at that. Listen to them hum. Oh, it sounds great. I got beta flight, MU flight, flight one. I think I got all kinds of firmwares going. And yeah, it's like a pyramid of power. Maybe that's what I'll call it. The Pyramid of Power. Okay, let's give her a little, a little throttle here. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh. oh, that's not good. Okay, I'm going to have to disarm. Rearm. Disarm. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, you know, nobody gets it right the first time. So, yeah, let's, let's survey the scene out here. Let's see what we got. Well, there's our tiny trainer. We got our switch back. I think the problem was probably just too much power. Yeah, it, I don't think it had anything to do with feedback, vibration, oscillation, none of that. It was just too much power. So maybe I'll just try to get on a three cell. That's probably gonna make it work fine. All right, I've collected uh, the carnage here and you know, it looks like the footy in the freestyle configuration did just fine. <clears throat> with no damage, like nothing happened, which is great. The other footy in the racer configuration also did just fine, which is great. I definitely approve of those two quads. The uh, tiny trainer, the smallest of the bunch, and it was on the top. I don't know if you saw or not, but I was kind of inverted and maybe a little throttle going into the ground there. So uh, it actually is fine, but unfortunately, my OG switchback here has broken standoffs and broke, or the uh, stack screws are like bent, you know, and then uh, it even broke a prop. So I think the takeaway message here is the uh, switchback is just a delicate little flower of a quad. Look at even broken arm. So, I mean, come on. I'm very disappointed. But these guys, these are great. Old switchback. 
I don't know. I can't explain it. I've raced with it forever and it's never broken. And then, you know, I try to make it part of the team. I guess it's just not a team player. So, oh well. I'm not going to give up on this concept though. I'm going to maybe do some uh, therapy sessions with my, with my switchback and see if it'll play better with the other guys. But I think I'm really uh, going to build a fleet of these for my, uh, you know, for racing this year. That's the way to go.